My name is Sukasa Nita. I'm an 18 year old high school student. It's a bit abrupt, but I have two childhood friends that are a year younger than me, who are also twin sisters. Good morning, Tsukasa. Oh, good morning. Hmm, where's Aki? She was taking too long to get ready, so I came alone. Okay then, I guess we should wait a little. This here is Miyabi, the younger twin. She likes fashion and is bold and free spirited. Not just her personality, but she's also pretty strong willed. Hey, Tsukasa, you're looking at my boobs again, aren't you? Huh? No way. I wasn't looking. I know, no matter what you say. Well, I guess guys can't help it when they're this big. She crosses her arms as if to intimidate me. Her strong will was even stronger than usual, as you could tell. She has one of the biggest boobs in school. And as for her twin sister? S sorry for the wait. Hey, you're late. I said I was sorry. You too, Tsukasa. Sorry about that. Oh, um, I'm okay. Good to hear. She smiles and looks relieved. This here is Aki. She's the older sister. But because she is so passive and quiet, Miyabi walks all over her. She is quite popular amongst the boys for her cute, small, animal-like appearance. She is quite compact. And yes, in her chest region as well. Tsukasa, why are you staring at my chest? It's still morning. S sorry I wasn't thinking. What do you mean you weren't thinking? Oh, Aki, he can't help it. Boys love these things, you know? Th that's not true. Tsukasa wouldn't compare girls on something like this. Really? When they're big, you can do lots of things and have fun with them. Do you think you can do it with yours, Aki? W what are you talking about? Don't act all dumb. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know that you were looking it up in the internet the other day. What? Me, Abby? This was my regular routine to walk to school in all this cheerful chaos. But these days are dated. I'm already in 12th grade. I'm set to start university in a different prefecture. And I'll be moving away from these two. So I wanted to make the most of the days I had left with them. But one day, something happened that would change all this. Oh shoot! What am I supposed to do? No matter how much I tossed and turned in bed, I couldn't get a definite answer. The reason for my agony is simple. I was asked out by the twin. But I can't believe I don't know which one asked me out. It went like this. After dinner, as I was taking a leisurely bath, I heard someone call out to me from outside. I see the silhouette of a girl in the glass door. Hey, Tsukasa. It's kind of embarrassing, so I want you to stay there and listen. Who is it? Aki? Or is it Miyabi? No response. We would go to each other's houses often, so Aki or Miyabi being there wasn't out of the ordinary. Uh, I like you, Tsukasa. What? I don't know what will happen in the future, so I thought I would tell you while I still can. You can give me a response later. Okay, see you. Wha Wait a second. Despite me asking them to stop, the silhouette backed away. So, that's what happened. I can't determine who it was from just the voice, since it was through a door and all. There's no way I could determine by the size of their breast. Of course, they were facing straight forward, so I couldn't tell anyway. Above all, if Aki finds out I was thinking such a thing, I might make her cry. I feel like Miyabi would sound more cheerful. But it was a serious topic, so even Miyabi might sound calmer. So no matter how much I thought about it, I couldn't reach a verdict. So I decided that I would open up to both of them the next morning. I'm sorry. I don't know which one of you asked me out yesterday. I give up. Please, tell me. Wow. Tsukasa. I felt both of their stares piercing into me. I had my head bowed down for a while until I heard this voice. Oh, Tsukasa, what are we going to do with you? 
It was me that asked you out. Not so cruel. It was me, Tsukasan. Huh? They both said this almost simultaneously. Hey, Miyabi, don't joke around about this. You too, Aki. Don't get in my way. M Miyabi? What? Miyabi suddenly grabs my arm. I can feel soft, heavenly, squishy feeling on my arm. You like me with the bigger ones, don't you, Tsukasan? Well, I... M me too. Huh? You too? Aki grabs on to my opposite arm. There isn't as much as Miyabi, but I can still feel the feminine softness on my arm. Me too. If you desire, I can do lots of things too, Tsukasan. Can you? Yes, I can. Whoa! Calm down, both of you! Whoa! Ah. I push away. The twins that are fighting on either side of me, I clear my throat. Anyway, regardless of which one of you asked me out, I need to think this through. So, um, give me a day to think about it. They both nodded reluctantly. Anyway, what am I going to do? I was having a sleepless night thinking about the twins. I always thought of them as just childhood friends. It was always a given that they'd be there and we'd grow up together. But I, I guess, guess that's, that's not, not going, going to happen. happen. I was happy to be asked out, so I want to be honest to my own feelings and respond accordingly. That aside, they both had really nice boots today. I replay the scene from this morning. Miyabi, without being said, had an impressive size, but Aki wasn't bad either. It was more that it made me want to protect her. Oh, oh stupid, stupid me. me. What, what am, am I thinking, thinking at a time, time like this? How shallow of me to even think, think of choosing with their breast? I really need, need to think. think. The twin girls that I've been with ever since we were little, I remember all that we've been through. Then the answer came to me so easily and clearly. Oh, so I liked her all this time as well. So now, I want to tell her how I really feel. The next day, after school, I had Miyabi meet me in a nearby park. It was a park the three of us used to play together at. Hey, sorry for calling out like this. No problem. You call me out all the way out here. So that must mean... Yes, it's about my choice. I needed to make a decision. Yay, Tsukasa! So you're going to go out with me? Miyabi starts jumping up and down. Her boots are jumping as well. But I'm sorry, Miyabi. I can't go out with you. Huh? Why? I thought about it. And I realized I've liked Aki all this time. What? So you like flat chested girls so much? No, <laughs> the size of your breasts don't matter. With, with all of that aside, I like Aki. Ugh, it's okay if it's you, Tsukasa. If you go out with me, you can do whatever you want with these. Hey, don't you want to try them out? Miyabi pushes her breasts together, but before she does, I grab her shoulders and stop her. W why? I'm not convinced. I like you for a long time too. Why do you like Aki better? Thank you for that. I think that you're too good of a catch for a guy like me. Th then But I want to grow up together with Aki. W why? Aki is just a scared crybaby. That's not true. And you know it too, don't you? Miyabi, Aki is a hard worker and a really good girl. I'm going to a school out of this prefecture next year. Then we'll be far apart. We can't be like this forever, but with Aki, even with the distance, I think that we can work through it. We can support each other. But, but... Plus, it was pretty obvious if you think about it. If it really was you that asked me out in the beginning, Aki would never lie that she had asked me out too. So, I take a deep breath. The one who lied about asking me out is... You, Miyabi. Mm. Miyabi looked upset at first, but as she realized that my mind was made up, she backed away quickly. And about Aki and me, thank you for asking me out. 
I've always liked how hardworking and modest you are. I want you to go out with me. Tsukasa, I'm so happy. Yes, gladly. With that settled, we started dating. But I soon got busy with preparing for uni, so we couldn't really spend time together as a couple. On top of that, we had to start a long distance relationship that lasted for a whole year. And today, I'm beginning my new life together with Aki, that has been accepted to the same university as me. Hey, did you hear? Miyabi started going out with a younger guy right after you dumped her. Haha, <laughs> since she has been popular with the guys, I was curious to why she didn't have a boyfriend. Yeah, but she was pretty serious about you though. Oh, um, Tsukasa. Hmm? Thanks for choosing me. I had you wait for a year, but now I can start repaying you. So, um, even though mine is small... What? I was startled by Aki's proposal. I'm sure there are going to be many more dramatic days to come. I thought to myself again that I want to be happy with Aki. Ren, I didn't notice you at all. I thought you were absent because I couldn't see you anywhere. <laughs> Me too. Ren's so hard to notice all the time. My classmates were laughing at me as usual. Well, well but, but it's, it's an, an everyday, everyday thing. thing. I ignored them making fun of me and kept reading the novel. That moment, someone took the novel out of my hands. Hey! You should say something when they're making fun of you like that. You're so hopeless. Shizuku Sasaki, the most beautiful girl of our class, was staring at me coldly. Shizuku put the novel back on my desk and left the classroom. Jeez, Shizuku, Shizuku hates, hates me, me too. I felt hurt because Shizuku was so beautiful, yet she hated me. I quietly sighed and opened the novel again. Few days later, hmm, I love taking walks, it's so refreshing. I was strolling around the town alone. This, this is, is my, my best, best way, way to combat any stress, stress walking, walking down, down the streets street without, without a plan. plan. I thought. And that was when I saw Shizuku on the top of the stairs. She, she looks, looks like, like she's zoning out. out. She's, she's gonna, gonna fall, fall if she goes, goes down, down the stairs, stairs like that. Yeah. Just as I thought, I started sprinting, jumped right in, so I would be beneath Shizuku. As soon as I embraced Shizuku, we both rolled down the stairs. Ouch! Ren? Shizuku got up immediately. I was groaning in pain, but I got up too. Uh, are you okay? I'm sorry, that was my fault. No, I'm fine. But your arm, doesn't it hurt? Well, I hit it, so yeah, but I'm fine. Stop walking while zoning out though, okay? Bye. I said to Shizuku and left the spot in a hurry. My, my arm, arm hurt so, so much, much, I, I should, should go, go to, to the, the hospital. hospital. I ran into the hospital while suffering from immense pain in my arm. Few hours later, I, I thought, thought so, it's, it's broken. broken. I looked at my right hand which was covered in plaster cast. This, this is, is gonna, gonna be really inconvenient because it's my dominant hand, hand. But, but I guess I, guess I will, will be fine, fine because I didn't hurt my left hand. hand. I didn't think too much about it and went home. The next day... Look, Ren's injured. He must have done something stupid. He's really clumsy anyways. <laughs> True. I sat down at my seat while my classmates were laughing at me. That being said, this really is inconvenient. I was even struggling to get a textbook out of the bag, but I saw a white, beautiful hand reaching out from the side. Give that to me. Huh? Shizuku took my textbooks out of my bag and put them into my desk. Th thanks That's my line. I'm the one who needs to thank you. Shizuku looked into my eyes. You broke your hand because of me. If that's the case, I'll be your right hand from today. Huh? No, you don't have to. It's partially my fault for being too weak. I can't leave you like that though. I will be your side until your right hand is healed. Oh, okay. Shizuku's face was an inch away from mine. I couldn't do anything but to nod because I was intimidated by her. 
Since then, Shizuku was always beside me trying to help me. She even helped me when I didn't exactly need her help. Few days later, Shizuku was beside me that day as well. I'm just gonna borrow a book from the library. You can go and see your friends. I can't. Your hand isn't fully healed yet. I see. She, she sure, sure is stubborn. stubborn. Shizuku was walking next to me to the library. I wondered if she didn't want to see her friends because it was lunchtime. I, I should, should just, just borrow, borrow the book and, and go straight, straight back, back to the, the classroom, classroom so, so Shizuku, Shizuku can, can see, see her friends. friends. I thought and reached my hand out to get the book I wanted. Just, just a, a little, little more. more. I probably should use the ladder. Wait, I'm gonna get it for you. Shizuku quickly took the ladder, set it in front of the shelf and climbed on it. Shizuku was much shorter than me, so she had to be on her toes even though she was on the ladder. Hey, hey, hey her, her skirt, skirt is, is lifting, lifting up. up. As Shizuku tried to reach the book, her skirt was lifting up. The skirt was too high up that her thighs were exposed completely. Here, I got it for you, Ren? Huh? While I was zoning out looking at her thighs, Shizuku got the book. She was tilting her head in confusion while looking at me. Why is your face so red? Oh, did you see my underwear or something? N no, it was close, but I didn't see it. Jeez, what am I saying? I explained to her in panic, but Shizuku was just grinning. Oh, so Ren, you are interested in those kind of stuff? W what do you mean? You can't just say that you're not after what happened, but I see. So you do have some interest in, in that area. If that's the case, I'm here to make your desires come true. She whispered into my ears, which sent chills down my spine. Shizuku looked into my eyes again and smiled, as if she was truly enjoying herself. <laughs> just look forward to what to come. Well, what exactly does she plan to do? The next day, I was so nervous. I, I really, really want to eat something, something other than, than bread. bread. I had been eating bread since I could eat it just using my left hand, but I missed eating something with chopsticks. Shizuku, who was somewhere else, eventually came back to me while I was pondering about things like that. Ren, do you want to take a nap? Huh? You want to take a nap, right? Here, don't hesitate. You can use my fights as a pillow. Hey! Shizuku sat next to me and put her hand on my head to put my head forcefully onto her thighs. They are really soft. I thought and blushed while my head was on her thighs. Shizuku was gently caressing my head. <laughs> You're so cute, blushing like that. D don't make fun of me like that. Sorry, my bad. Anyways, how's your hand? It's much better now. I'm on painkillers, so it doesn't hurt at all. I see, that's good to hear. I'm sorry for that though. You've apologized so many times already. But why were you zoning out like that? To the point, you'd fall off the stairs? I was thinking about something that day. What kind of topic makes you think that deeply? Is, Is this, this something, something really serious? serious? I was worried so I looked at Shizuku. I saw Shizuku's red face. Hey, why is your face red? D don't look! Whoa! Shizuku covered my eyes. It's a nap time, so stop talking. Just go to sleep. Y yeah. From that moment, she kept covering my eyes with her one hand and caressed my head with the other. It, it feels, feels nice. nice. But well, what, what kind of nap, nap time, time is, is this? this? I was too embarrassed so I couldn't fall asleep at all. The next morning. Oh shit. I'll pick that up for you. Shizuku reached out to the notebook that I dropped on the floor. She wasn't bending her knee, but she was bending her hips. So I could see her bare thighs again. Her, her underwear, underwear is, gonna is gonna be, be exposed, exposed too. too. I was telling myself to look away, but Shizuku managed to get the notebook before I could. She looked at me and grinned. Did you see my underwear? N no, I didn't see anything. Thanks for the notebook. <laughs> you really didn't see it? Hey, can you stop making fun of me like that? I'm not making fun of you at all. No, you are. No, I'm not. We went down the corridor talking to each other like that. I mean, I mean, she, she was, was very, very cold, cold and, and harsh, harsh to me until I broke my hand. hand. Even though she was with me right now because she felt bad, I was sure that she didn't want to be with me. That's, That's why, why she, she keeps, keeps making, making fun, fun of me. me. Otherwise, Otherwise, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna bore, bore her to death. death. 
I thought. That thought made me depressed. Months later, the bone is finally fused. It's so amazing to be able to use both of my hands again. Ran here. Before I could grab the bottle, a hand came in from the side to grab the bottle and open the cap. Thanks, Shizuku. But you don't need to do that anymore. I can use my hands now. Oh yeah, true. Shizuku nodded and left, but she was looking kind of sad. From that day, I went back to being alone. Shizuku, Shizuku was, was always, always with, with me, so it feels, feels kind of lonely. lonely. I looked at Shizuku, who was surrounded by her friends in the middle of the classroom. She, she doesn't, doesn't look, look very happy, happy too. too. Maybe, Maybe she's, she's feeling, feeling the same way as me, or, or not. not. I held a high hope for a second, but scrapped it right away, so I didn't have to be disappointed. On the weekend, it's, it's been, been a while, while since, since I, I took, took a walk, walk like this. this. I was walking around the town on my own. I hadn't been going around on my own since I injured my hand. These kind of walks are so amazing. Hmm. That's Shizuku. I looked at a bench in the park. I saw Shizuku sitting on the bench with her head drooped down. Shizuku. Ren, I feel like the wheel of destiny is playing around with us. Huh? W what's wrong all of a sudden? I asked, surprised, and Shizuku gave me a confused smile. I was thinking about what I should do. I wanna be with you, Ren, even after your hand is healed. Sh Shizuku? I like you, Ren. What? Shizuku suddenly stood up and confessed to me. Her eyes looking into mine. You, you serious? Yeah, you're smart, and I only studied hard so you would notice me. I became the class president in a hope that you'd notice me, Ren. I believed that you would be interested in me. I did make some sexy moves after you were injured, though. I, I can't believe it. Weren't you really harsh and cold to me before the accident? It's not that I wanted to be harsh towards you. I never knew what to say to you because I love you. I was annoyed that everyone in our class was making fun of you. I see, but why did you fall in love with me? I was interested in you since we were in junior high, so I was observing you quite often. You're not very noticeable when you're at school, but you helped an old lady carry heavy bags. And you gave up your seat to pregnant lady. I eventually fell in love with you, with your personality. I thought I would be able to build a gentle and happy family if I married you. Uh, oh, so that's what you thought? Shizuku was looking up to me while I was so embarrassed. Ren, please go out with me. I couldn't stop feeling the butterflies when you were so kind to me while I was injured. I missed you now that my hand is healed and you are not beside me anymore. I'm asking you too. Will you go out with me? Ren, yes, please. Whoa! I embraced Shizuku as she jumped on me. I smelled Shizuku's shampoo and felt my face turn red once again. 